Hi guys, just a quick vlog before I go to bed because it is pretty late. All the makeup's off, so it means it's time for bed. Um, I've been working all day, so I'm really tired. I just thought I'd do a quick vlog because I haven't done one in a couple of days. Um, I'm going to do a what's in my bag vlog. This is my bag. It's new and I, I love it. It's um, It was about £20 from Bid Up TV, which I know is a bit weird. It's one of those bidding channel things on the TV. But it was just on and I saw it and I was like, I really love it. So my mum bought it me for Easter and it arrived the other day. It's lovely. It's not actually leather, but it looks like leather brown. And it's got these nice buckle things in this buckle at the front. And the flowers and I just, I loved it. And it's got a long strap as well and a short strap. But I'm going to show you what's in my bag and hopefully make it interesting with a bit of an explanation for what's in my bag. Um, first... One of the items I cannot leave the house without. It's my phone. It's the HTC Wildfire. Oh, HTC. Um, and it's in red. And I just, I love HTC phones. It's the first one I've had, but it's just amazing. It does everything. I've got Facebook, Twitter, messages, everything, internet. And it's just, it's amazing. It's touch screen. I just love it. I can't say more about it. I just love it. But my new bill came through this month and I've spent like £50. So I should probably cut down a bit. But no, I, I just love it. And on the end of it, I've got a little Kipling phone charm. I don't know if you can see that, but it's called Ursula. So is it there? Ursula, you can't really see it, but there. Um, that is so cute as well. This was this charm was three ninety nine, I think, but it's broke, so I've had to tie it onto my phone, which really is really annoying. But um, the phone, I've got it on contract from three, so that's the only way you can get the red one. So if you want to get the red one, go on three, and I just love it. Item number two in my bag, another thing I can't live without, can't, well, can't leave the house without it, my iPod. It's the iPod video and it's quite vintage, it's 2007 I think it is, but I just, I like music a lot and I need a lot of music. This is 80 gig which stores about 20,000 songs I think um, and I've got about 12,000 on it so far, so I'm getting there. And I just I hope it never gives up on me because it's quite old and it's lasted me for four years. Well, um, it was my dad's originally. I swapped it with him for my old iPod because I wanted this one. And so I hope it lasts. Otherwise, I'm going to have to buy a new one. And I buy the iPod Classic, I think. That's my second favourite iPod because I just I need bigger storage space. The iPod Classic, I think, 120 gig. I get that one. This is 80 and I love it. And I get a Kelly's house with it. And to go with my iPod my headphones. Now these aren't the best headphones in the world, I just bought them as a quick fix. But they might be, they're alright. They're the JVC gummy headphones in pink. Um, they cost £8.99 from HMV. And they're quite good so far, I've had them a couple of weeks now and the sound's good from them. I've also got some skull candy ones but I obviously don't take them around because when I have them on I look a bit of an idiot. So I don't take them out of the house, just listen to them in the house with them. Item number three I showed this on my haul the other day, the, um, my sunglasses case and my sunglasses, they match, they're lovely, um, they're from Primark, the case was 150 the sunglasses that were a pound, just because it's been sunny this last week so I thought go out with my sunglasses, so they're in my bag. Item number four, this book, this book is the bane of my life, I have to read it for English AS level. I'm really not liking it at the moment. I'm about a third, a third of the way through and I probably have to read it by next Thursday. I've not got a lot of time to read it. That's why it's in my bag. Every spare moment I get, I'm just reading it, reading it, reading it. It's really... I don't want to put anyone off reading it, but it's such an annoying book. There is no grammar, hardly any punctuation, no speech marks. It's written as if Ned Kelly would write it. He's in 18th century... 11, oh, he's really, I don't know, I have nothing against Ned Kelly, but just, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to say anything more about this, if I don't get this finished by Thursday, basically, I'm dead, but there you go, that's this book. Item number five, I think, now, um, I'll do the makeup collection now, I have a little bit of a makeup bag in my bag, so in case I need to touch up, now this is my tinted moisturiser, it's Boots Botanics I think it was £1.50 but I didn't get it from Boots, I got it from Makeup Stall 
near me but I love it because I don't like foundation because it's a bit too cakey and I'm a bit allergic to foundation things just on my forehead so I can't wear foundation so I put tinted moisturiser on instead it's quite good but you know it would just wear off a bit I've worked on my makeup off now but you know um, and then this is my eyeliner it is the number 7 metallic eyes pencil in number 6 blackest I like wearing black eyeliner I went through a goth phase about a few years ago now and um, this is the last remnants of my goth phase I like the black eyeliner obviously I don't put it on too much but if I need to touch it during the day it's in my bag and this is new from a couple of weeks ago it's my new mascara it, it is collection 2000 big fake false lash effect mascara there you go um, this is in brown black I got this a few few weeks ago that's what the brush looks like in case it's got it's a really good mascara in my opinion I've only had it a few few weeks but I like it so far and um, I just needed a quick fix mascara just so I just bought any but it's really good mascara I'm liking it so far and I have my lip gloss somewhere in here ah my lip gloss I have my lip gloss in here and um, this is my Hollister lip gloss and if you haven't been in Hollister I just love it the smell the atmosphere everything is just amazing now this is the pink I don't think it has an actual shade but it's it's the pink one the pink glitter one I think this was 7 99 um, which I haven't done the prices for the rest of it uh, this eyeliner I think was about seven pounds something like that it's number seven so this was about two pound and this was the mascara was about five pound and back into the lip gloss the lip gloss um, 7 99 from Hollister but I love it, it tastes so nice and if you've been in the shop it tastes like the shop smells kind of you have to go in the shop to know what I'm on about but I love it someone bought it me for my birthday this year and I wear it like nearly every day and I just love it but I don't think it has a shade on it but it's the pink one and I just love it so um, also in my bag I have my camera now this is the Samsung I don't know what it's called but it's a silver one it's 14.2 megapixels and I love it it's got five times optical zoom I take it everywhere because I like taking photos I'm not that good at taking photos like professionally but I take photos of everything seriously all the time I'll be out there with my camera um, and it just I take it everywhere with me just in case something comes up and I need to take a photo of it also in my bag I have this pen now I can't say it's a Union Jack pen got a little thing on the top twist it to open it and I love Union Jacks if you've noticed the vlog that I did in my room I've got Union Jack wallpaper I've got cushions everything everything Union Jack I just I love it someone bought me this for my birthday I'm not sure how much it was it was a present but I use it all the time it goes around in my bag and I just I love it I love everything Union Jack so yeah also my bag my keys to get in my house <laughs> I kind of need them but this one is the Marge Simpson key and this one is a pink leopard print one Moan got me them cut and um, I just really like them obviously I don't know how much they were because they're never gift you can call it a gift um, and they're just really cute and I've got this thing on my cousin got me it says Laura's key on it I don't know if that's backwards to you guys but there you go um, it says Laura's key on it and so yeah also, this is what I carry on my bag. It's a little paper bag which I got from the um, craft store. That's not the idea of it. I am making a friendship bracelet. I don't think I've put it in here though. I'm making one. Yeah, this is one I made. This is one I made earlier. If you can see that. There you go. Um, they're pretty easy to make. That's something about an hour to make. You can probably Google it and find how to make them, but if anyone wants me to do a tutorial, just comment below and I'll show you how to do them. So I think it's really cute, and I need to buy some more thread so I can get going. I've got some thread here. I might make another one soon. Um, also in my bag, I have another friendship bracelet that I made, and some clips. I always need clips because look, my hair like flops down there, so I need to like, clip it back. And uh, sometimes if it gets in my face, so it starts making my forehead a bit greasy. I just Clip it back with these clips. They're just um, essential hair accessories, bobby pin clip things. They're about a pound from Superdrug. And basically, I think that's all in my bag. That's about everything. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 
I have my comb as well. I like to back comb my hair sometimes, like just shove it back or whatever. It like back comb that bit. That looks terrible. Um, but I like to back comb my hair. So just if I need an extra brush, then I keep them in my bag. I'll, I keep them in my bag just to brush my hair. Really, <coughs> I don't know what else I'm say. So yeah, that's all that's in my bag. That wasn't very interesting, was it? I'm really sorry for not making it more interesting. Promise I'll get better. I know I've said that in the, like the last two, three vlogs, but I will get better. Anyone's got any suggestions for vlogs that I could do? Anything. Literally, I'm up for anything. Um, comment below. Please subscribe. Rate this video if you thought it was good. Um, so thank you. And I, I'm off to bed now. So thank you for watching. Please watch more vlogs and comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.